sure it's low for Galway. Joe Cooney, hand pass to Ian Arad to No Lane, the shot, saved by Kevin Lane, it's a goal! It's not in! No Lane, the scorer! And it's Galway, who are the new All-Ireland champions. The late 80s also gave us another one of those great rivalries. It was a bit different from the traditional Cork tip or Kilkenny, that triumvirate providing a rivalry. In the late 80s, it was Tip and Galway. Cyril Farrell had a great Galway team in, in, in those days. And Tip came along and ended the famine, as they called it, when Richie Stakelin made a speech in 87 when they won their Munster title. But they were unable to get past Galway in the first couple of years. And uh, Farrell's team was a, was a great Galway team. And they eventually lost to Tipperary in the 89 semi-final. But 89, had the two semi-finals on the same day in Croke Park and whereas Tip beat Galway and what everyone expected to be the big match, Offaly were playing Antrim in the other semi-final and this was expected to be a comfortable win for Offaly as it was for most teams against Antrim in the semi-finals in those days. But the Antrim team caused one of the great, great upsets of the last 30 or 40 years by beating Offaly, a fine Offaly team. And it was a, an amazing victory. This is Roy Mania. the final whistle. Remember today, Antrim qualify for the very first time since 1943 for the All-Ireland Hurling Final of 1989. And is she happy? Who would blame her? She's a proud lady today, and that is really what the GA is all about. But I'll always remember Offaly, given there was such a shattering defeat for them, that they stood and waited while the Antrim players celebrated for ages on the pitch and the Offaly players lined up and applauded the Antrim team off the field, which was a really magnanimous and generous and proper thing to do, but given that they knew they were going to get a lot of stick when they went home for losing that match, I thought it was, it was a great element of sportsmanship from those Offaly players. Oh, look at that. A marvellous day for Hurling. 